David is practicing a shooting game. The chart below represents the number of targets he hits as score on different days. If his score is a function of S and day is D, which of the following represents the relationship? How is S related with D? Here we have day 1, for which the score is 21. For day 2, the score is 22. For day 3, the score is 23, etc. Now let's see which of these given options satisfies the condition. As far as option A is concerned, for day 1, when the value of D is 1, the value of S will be 22 minus D, which will be 22 minus 1, which equals 21. So this works. Now let's test this relationship for day 2. For day 2, the value of S becomes 22 minus 2, which equals 20. But 20 isn't right, as we can see in the chart, it should be 22. Therefore, this relationship in option A is not right. Now let's test option B. Option B says S equals 21 times D. Therefore, S for day 1 will be 21 times 1, which is 21. It's working so far. However, for day 2, when the value of D is 2, according to this relationship, S will be 21 times 2 which is 42. But 42 is not right. We should have gotten 22 as shown in the chart. So this is not okay and thus we reject option B as well. Let's quickly check the remaining options. Option C says S equals 25 minus D. Now for day 1 we will have S equals 25 minus 1 which is 24 and this is not correct because we need 21 as indicated in the chart. So we reject option C. Option D says S equals D over 21. So for day 1, S will be 1 over 21, which clearly isn't equal to 21 as shown in the chart. Therefore, option D is not right. Now we can conclude that option E should be the right option, but let's check to see if it works first. Say when D equals 1, s becomes 21. Well, that's correct. When d equals 2, s becomes 22. Correct again. When d equals 3, s becomes 23. Also correct. When d equals 4, s becomes 24. That's right. And finally, when d equals 5, s becomes 25. Once again, correct. We'll stick with e as the best option. Thank you.